Okay, to assemble the billy cart, this is what we're going to do. Um, I've opened a new component. I'm going to either right click and go insert into current design to my, from my chassis, um, or you can drag and drop it. This has given me an error, and the reason why it's given me an error is I haven't saved the, the file yet. You have to save it first. So I'm going to call it assembly. I'm going to call mine test2 because um, it's just, I'm going to delete it afterwards. So we'll try it again. So drag or drop or on a map, you have to right click insert into current design. Then we are going to um, ground this component. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to ground this component. So right, right click ground. Now we've got that in, we are going to put our steering connectors in. So that's this one here. Um, I can drag or drop or right click insert into current design. It takes a while. And then what we are going to do, so we're going to join this together now. So um, this will just float. This one's grounded, so it's, it's locked into position. Um, and we are going to um, use the join feature. We'll click join. We're going to click for this pivot point one, the center hole here. We're going to rotate our work and the center hole down here. And it should come together. At the moment, it's a rigid, so if I look into that motion, it's a rigid joint. Um, if you click Revolute, you can see that it will turn. So that's the one we want for steering. I'm going to insert another steering mechanism. So insert into current design. And don't worry about positioning this too much because it, it's kind of useless trying to waste your time positioning it like that. We want to use the joining feature. So up, up to join. And this time I want to do the center. So start on the surface you want to join and go to the edge in the center. And then on the bottom of this one, start on the surface you want it to join to and move to the center. I just clicked up the wrong part, so we'll try again. That should bring it together. You can see it's still a revolute. Um, what we will do is we'll turn that revolute off back to rigid. Now, if you find that it goes to the wrong position, try the flip tool. Sometimes um, it is just uh, the, the surfaces that you select. Once we've got that, um, I can see this dodgy sketch here. Um, I'm going to go in and try and work out where that is. So that's here, so I'm going to turn it off. And I think there might be one on here too, so I'll just turn them off. I'm going to insert the wheels now. So the wheels, same deal, either drag or drop or insert into current design. Wait for it to appear. I'm only going to show you one wheel and then I'll show you the seat. We can roughly line it up into somewhat similar to the way we want it, but don't spend too much time to start with doing that. Join. This time we want a revolute joint, but we choose where we want it first. So that one with this one. So it brings it together. Use the flip tool if you feel like it's in the wrong position. Check that out. If you want to offset it, you can drag it with the arrow key. Mine's right at zero. And we can use motion revolute for this one so it turns on that wheel. So you can do that for all four wheels. Uh, last thing is the seat. So right click, uh, insert into current design. Hopefully I got that on the steering side. Yeah, I did. Um, same deal with this, don't stress about where you put it to start with, just get it somewhere near the mark. And we're going to zoom in and we're going to join the centre of this one to the centre of this one. Just focusing on selecting the surfaces, not this edge, because if it's on the edge, it's going to kind of rotate off that point. So just there. This one here, we also want it to be rigid, so we're going to move it to rigid. Um, and if you want to move it forward a little bit, we can go back and right click edit, edit joint, and we can click where we want to uh, edit it to. So hopefully that helps putting your project together.